This video has been sponsored by NVIDIA Studio and PC Specialist. Link in the description. Everything you f***ing want as a creator <laughs> comes from making the best videos possible. And thumbnails. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and thumbnails. And thumbnails. And thumbnails. Since the beginning of time, humanity has needed to know what makes a good thumbnail. Many years ago, a YouTuber by the name of Finzar tried to solve this problem. But he just spent ages talking about random shit instead of getting on with the video. So one day, not too long ago, he decided he'd try again. But this time, he'd make it way goddamn better. Photoshop! Photoshop, baby! Photoshop! So without further ado, let's get cooking! The first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Photoshop. You're gonna click it. Yeah, you're gonna- Why are we still here? Once it's loaded up, you're gonna click create new. Hey, you still with me? You still- are you still with me? Keep up. Next, you're gonna head over to film and video. Then you're gonna find HDTV 1080p. Just trust me that 1080p is the one you wanna select. Alright, let's lay the ground rules. Control and minus, and then control and plus. That zooms out and zooms in. You're gonna be using that all the time. Control and H to get rid of these blue bars if you've got them showing already. And straight away, we're ready to begin. So I'm assuming here that most of you are gonna be doing gaming thumbnails, which is awesome. Let's go through that. So now's the first real task. We gotta think about who we want on our thumbnail. So let's find something that's trending at the moment. Your hand slips and you accidentally open Microsoft Edge. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> it's not funny. Definitely gonna go with the uh, with the Super Saiyan theme because because um, anime, you know, people like anime. Right click, copy the image, and go back into Photoshop, paste that shit. Control and V. So one of the first things that we need to get used to is pressing Control and T, which means transform. So it means that we can move our image around, resize it, everything like this. Uh, you don't have to hold down shift on that. Um, if you do hold down shift, then it changes the whole aspect ratio, makes it... Now for the most time-consuming bit, we're gonna cut him out. But before that, a quick note. When you hold down the spacebar and then click and drag, you can move your canvas about. So now onto cutting out. I press P to go onto the pen tool, which is the first option here, and then I begin cutting. How exciting. If you hold click whilst you're creating a new position, then as you'll see, it will curve. You can also add new positions in between positions you've previously created. And then finally with the pen tool, if you want to reposition one of these points that you've already made, you just have to hold down control and then click and drag. So let's fast forward through it now. I'll see you when I finish. Ugh! We've done it. We've made a selection. It should look like this. It should be all connected. We're going to right click and then we're gonna make selection. We're gonna set the feather radius to one pixel, hit okay. And then as you can see, we got this dude selected. So if it's selected the outside for some reason, then just hit control, shift and I to invert the selection. When we come out of pen mode and press V, that takes us back to our normal cursor. Then we should see some scissors over our mouse head. Now this means that we can just click, bam, control and copy, and then control paste. And then as you can see, we have him separated from the background on a separate layer. He's been selected. Look at him, he's the chosen one. You're the chosen one! Alright, what's up neighborinos? It's Editing Finn here. I've just been editing this video. So basically what I did here is that I made a background which I ended up not using at all. So I kind of find it pointless to just put this in the video. And it's also really boring. Um, so, I'm gonna cut this bit out. We're gonna pretend it didn't happen. We me and you, we're, we're not gonna talk about this. Um, just trust me, I know what I'm doing. It's me, baby! Oh. Stop, 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 Listen, what? Listen, I'll let you do your sale, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll let you do your sale, that's fine. What do you mean? You can do it. You're just gonna let me do my sale, just like just that. Just do the, just, just do it. No, I was really, I was looking forward to this. It's kind of the thing I do, I scream, I, I, I scream just my name. Just do me a favor. It's all I got. Okay, just, just make it entertaining, make it's it It's all I've got, got a good video going on here, so don't, don't ruin the pacing, okay? Okay, say, look, say no, say no more. be entertaining, though. Uh, it's a good one. I want to be entertaining. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a good one, trust me. All right. Oh! Ladies and Fins! What a surprise! I'm just waiting in line for my NVIDIA graphics card. That's right, they're selling out pretty fast. If you don't know what NVIDIA is, then I don't know who you are. What, you've been living under rocks or something? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Hey, 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 hey. I got a sale for you. Do not be like this idiot here. This guy's got client work, and he's going through it frame by frame, trying to find out where the cuts are in the footage 
so that he can better edit it. But what he doesn't realize is that his NVIDIA Studio system has a GPU accelerated feature which automatically generates these cuts for him. And might I add, perfectly, this is just one of the many improvements that you can get whilst having an NVIDIA Studio certified system. I mean, the list, it, the list is endless. There's so, there's so many things to say. So do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Instead of queuing up waiting to get your graphics card from a local shop, would you head on over to PC Specialist website and go and select an NVIDIA Studio certified system from there directly. They do all of the PC building for you. It's built by experts and professionals who do this every day for a living. Not to mention the warranties and support you get from PC Specialists themselves. It's a no-brainer! So go down there to the link in the description and build yourself a PC. Let me know if you get anything, because I'm a salesman fan and I love this shit! NVIDIA system, take me away. So anyway, back to the tutorial. So now that we got our dude all cut out and ready to go, what we're going to do is press Ctrl and T and then fill him out to the edge of the frame here. I'm also going to do a little bit of rotating so that we fit more of his hair in there. And in terms of positioning, that's probably where I'm going to leave him. Now we're going to make the text. Press T then we click somewhere on the canvas and start typing. I usually do every word separately so I have full control over the positions of each word. V. Look at that thumbnail, guys. So let's go through text settings and how to make text look sparkly and great. So we got our text. I'm going to double click on our text. And as you can see, we bring up the layer style panel drop shadow. Yes. I usually like to have mine on size only. Please don't take that out of context. Change the distance a little bit so that it's just off. Gives it a little bit of a 3D look, makes it look like it's actually part of the thumbnail, which I like. Also the opacity, just changing it to something around 75 also just adds the sense of it being connected to the thumbnail. Gradient overlay. The first kind of gradient we're gonna do is find grays. And then we're gonna select this one here, click okay. And then we're gonna go to inner glow. I'm gonna change that inner glow to white. I've already got it set to overlay. Then we're gonna change the settings so that it just looks like there's like a neon kind of glow around the edge. You don't have to do any of this. This is all up for interpretation. I'm just showing you how I do mine. Bam, okay. As you can see, we have all of the effects stacked up here. Uh, that's great. Another really cool thing you can do on Photoshop is alt and drag to duplicate. So alt and then click and drag the and that duplicates it. So then press T again and then double click on the word that you want to change and then just type the best. The best thumbnail. The best thumbnail. It's the best thumbnail. We're going to change the color of thumbnail to my favorite. We're going to change it and we're going to go down and we're going to change the colors to yellow and orange. And then as you can see, this white inner glow is actually overlaying. I like that already. It's looking good. Now it gets a little bit messy down in this layer box. All you have to do is click these to collapse all of the effects. But equally, if you want to keep them open and you want to see how effects look on and off, you just have to click these eyeballs here. And as you can see, we're looking at what we've just done uh, on and off. That's pretty cool. Just doing a little bit of adjustments on the position of the text. Also gonna change the scale of our man here a little bit. Um, maybe bring him in front of the text, give it a little bit more depth. Now for the background. The background isn't good enough for me. It's fine, but it's not good enough. So we're gonna look up anime lightning background. Oh, this is good. I like that. As we did before, we're gonna copy and then paste it into Photoshop. Just resizing it here, then changing the layer style to screen. This just gets rid of that black background. And then of course, I'm doing some final adjustments with Control and T. Okay, so with the background colors now, I'm starting to think that maybe we should try something else. So now I'm thinking space. Now this is a good one. I've used this one quite a few times. We go to background paste over the background there. And then we're gonna resize it. Now it does look really messy right now and that's expected. We're gonna clean this up. So we're gonna add some stroke to that text. Set it to 10 and hit OK. And then we're gonna do the exact same on the other two words. Looking a bit better. Now we're gonna go onto our Super Saiyan guy, double click him. We're gonna add a drop shadow on him. It makes him stand out a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then we're gonna add stroke and then I'm gonna change it to white. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna adjust the space background. Make sure that you've got that selected Then head up to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and then play around with it until you're happy. I like mine to be a bit brighter and a bit more contrasty straight away. When you're happy, hit OK, and then head up to Filter, go down to Blur, and then select Radial Blur. A window will pop up. Then we're going to change the blur method from Spin to Zoom, and then change the amount to about 20. This box here tells us where the Zoom Blur is going to happen on the canvas, so we're going to move it to the right-hand side so it starts behind our guy here. And so far, that looks pretty good. Maybe we don't need the, we just need best. And then expand that. Best thumbnail. Already prefer that. That looks way better. And now that the text is bigger on best, I'm going to change the inner glow so it looks better. Now the final finishing touch. The Photoshop logo. PNG. Bam, look, there it is. Straight away. Copy. Paste. Whoa. It's big. Control T and then size that down. 
That's fine, because it's a PNG, it's gonna have a black background, but we can get rid of that really easily just by selecting W, go to the magic wand tool, click, delete, bam. And then as you can see, we've just got this leftover selection here. All we have to do is press Control and D to deselect. We can now press V and move around our Photoshop icon freely. I'm pressing Control and T here to transform because we've got this perfect space right below thumbnail where we can put our Photoshop icon. I'm gonna head over to the layer, double click, and then put on a drop shadow and set that to white. Now the white looks pretty good because it goes with the lightning in the background. Stroke, yes. I'm also gonna add some inner glow. I'm gonna keep it on overlay and change the settings to about this. Also gonna head to image and change the brightness and contrast settings just to make it pop a little bit more. Oh my God, so sorry, excuse me. Now these are some pretty important tools we're going into. Uh, we've got the sponge tool over here on the left. This is just gonna up the saturation where you make the brush strokes. Then we've also got the dodge tool, which is gonna lighten the areas that we put the brush strokes. I'm just gonna brush it across the center here because I want it to look like the lightning is almost going through the Photoshop icon. It's subtle, but I think it's gonna look pretty good. One thing that's bothering me is this guy is looking awful bright. So I'm going into image and then I'm going to color balance and then I'm changing it so it's just got a bit more of a bluish and purplish hue. This just makes him look like he's naturally part of the scene more. Yeah, I'd say that's looking pretty freaking sweet. You know what I'm saying? So when you're coming to the final stages of making your thumbnail, you're gonna to wanna to zoom out, right? All the way out, all the way, all the way. And then you're gonna to wanna to see how it looks from there because phone screens, believe it or not, are pretty small. And when there's a thumbnail on a phone screen, it's literally like that big. So. Looks pretty good. <laughs> As you can see, we can see the text pretty clearly. Uh, we can see this guy going Super Saiyan pretty clearly. We can see it's Photoshop pretty clearly. I'd say it looks pretty fine. And I'm probably gonna keep it like this for the final thumbnail. This is probably what you're gonna have clicked on to get into this video, which you're watching right now. Thank you, by the way. And I think that's about it. Now, remember to say, oh my God, we haven't saved the whole time. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna save it to the cloud documents. I find that way easier. The best thumbnail. Save. So when exporting, you're gonna want to go up to File, then hit Export, then Export As. Uh, you make sure that the format is on JPEG. As you can see, when I change the quality to something like great, the size of the thumbnail actually goes up to two megabytes. Now, YouTube's maximum size limit on thumbnails is two megabytes, so we're gonna have to go with excellent quality. So when you're ready, go down to export and then go to your thumbnails folder and create a name for your thumbnail. And in terms of organization, I usually just title them as V1, V2, and V3. This Radal one, I did like nine versions. <laughs> Does good editing make you a good YouTuber video? That's four different versions. You know, don't be afraid to go back and change it. So that's it, that's it for the thumbnail. Now I wanna round up some of my thoughts on this because I think that thumbnails generally is a very important topic on YouTube. Now, as with the intro to this video, I make it out like it's everything, but actually straight after that clip of Mr. B saying that, he goes on to say that actually it's about having good content. No one's like the biggest YouTuber in the world because they have the best thumbnails, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also because they have great phenomenal content you know what i mean like that that's the hard part that very few people do well so as always on this channel i like to be realistic uh you know good thumbnails will take you a long way but at the end of the day it should always come down to what can make your video better so i really hope that this tutorial has been useful because today we've actually learned how to do something join my discord and post your thumbnails in my art house section this is where a lot of people post their thumbnails and get feedback thank you so much to nvidia and pc specialist for sponsoring this video uh go and check the link out in the description Tell him to get out of here it's time. Yeah, I'm just finishing up here, man. Get the f out of yeah, here. Dude, yeah, dude, just saying it's time for them to get out of here. You, you spent ages on this video, okay? Just hurry up. Hurry the hell up. All right. You heard the man. Get the hell out of here. Now. Go. I love you. <laughs>